Students, hope you are doing well. In last video, we completed chapter one. Now, in this video, we will discuss about some keywords and back exercise of nutrition in plants. So, first keyword is autotrophic nutrition, the mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances is called autotrophic nutrition. Second keyword, chlorophyll. The leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll. Next, autotrophs, an organism that manufactures its own food from inorganic substances is known as autotrophs. Host, a host is an organism that harbors another organism inside or near their body. Insectivorous, having specialized leaves or leaf parts capable of trapping and digesting insects, example, the peacher plants and the sundews. Nutrient, a substance that provides nourishment essential for the maintenance of life and for growth. Nutrition, plants prepare their food by using raw materials like water, carbon dioxide and minerals. The process of utilization of food by a living organism to obtain energy is called nutrition. Next, parasite. An organism that lives in or on an organism of another species and benefits by deriving nutrients is known as parasite. Photosynthesis, the process by which green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize nutrients from carbon dioxide and water. Saprotrophs, an organism that feeds on or derives nourishment from decaying organic matter. Next, saprotrophic nutrition. Saprotrophic nutrition is a process of chemoheterotrophic extracellular digestion involved in the processing of decaying organic matter. Next, stomata. A stomata is a tiny opening or pore that is used for gas exchange. Now back exercise. Yadi aapko video pasand aaye, to like kar dijega aur aage ke videos ko dekhne ke liye subscribe kar dijega. First question is why do organisms take food? The organisms need to take food to build their bodies, to grow, to repair damaged part of their bodies and to obtain the energy to carry out life processes. Question number two. Distinguish between parasite and saprotroph. Parasite. An organism that lives in or on an organism of another species and benefits by driving nutrients is known as parasite. Example, Amarbel or Cascuta. Saprotroph, an organism that feeds on or derives nourishment from decaying organic matter is known as saprotrophs. Example, fungi. Question number three. How would you test the presence of stars in leaves? First point, take two potted plants of the same kind. Keep one in the dark for 72 hours and other in the sunlight. Second point, perform iodine tests with the leaves of both the plants. Third point, a positive result for the iodine test is a color of blue-black color. This color is shown in the second leaf that is put in sunlight. A negative result was yellow color of the iodine solution. This color is shown in the first leaf that is put in the dark place. Now steps of star testing. Step 1. Heat a plant leaf in boiling water for 30 seconds. Step 2. Heat it in boiling ethanol for a few minutes. Step 3. Wash with water and spread onto a white tile. Step 4. Add iodine solution from a dropping pipette. Now question number 4. Give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants. The green plants have chlorophyll in the leaves. The leaves use carbon dioxide and water to make food in the presence of sunlight. This process is known as photosynthesis. Now question number 5. So with the help of a sketch that plants are the ultimate source of food. You can draw this diagram. Now question number 6. Fill in the blanks. Green plants are called DAS since they synthesize their own food. Answer will be autotrophs.
Next, the food synthesized by plants is stored as DAS. Answer will be starch. Next, in photosynthesis, solar energy is absorbed by the pigment called DAS. Answer will be chlorophyll. Next, during photosynthesis, plants step in DAS and release DAS gas. Answer will be carbon dioxide and oxygen. Carbon dioxide for this DAS and oxygen for this DAS. Now question number 7. Name the following. A parasite plant with yellow cylinder and branch stem. Name is Cascuta. A plant that is partially autotropic. Now name is pitcher plant. The pores through which leaves exchange gases. Name is Stomata. Now question number 8. Pick the correct answer. Cascuta is an example of parasite. You have to tick second option. Next. The plant which traps and feeds on insect is pitcher plant. You have to tick third option. Now question number 9. Match the items given in column 1 with those in column 2. In column 1, questions are chlorophyll, nitrogen, cascuta, animals, insects. In column 2, options are rhizobium, heterotrophs, pitcher plant, leaf, parasite. Now answer. Chlorophyll, answer will be leaf. Nitrogen, answer will be rhizobium. Cascuta, answer will be parasite. Animals, answer will be heterotrophs. Insects, answer will be pitcher plant. Now question number 10. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. But you should write full word true and false. Carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis. Answer is false. Next, plants which synthesize their food are called saprotrophs. Answer will be false. The product of photosynthesis is not a protein. Answer will be true. Next, solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis. Answer will be true. Now question number 11. Choose the correct option from the following. Which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis? Answer will be stomata. It means the option is 2. Next, choose the correct option from the following. Plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their. Answer will be leaves and option is 4. Question number 13. Why do farmers grow many fruits and vegetable crops inside large greenhouses? What are the advantages to the farmers? First point, the greenhouse protects the plants inside it from the climatic condition outside. Second point, gives suitable temperature for growth. Third point, crops are also protected from birds and animals. That's it. <music>